somebody had texted over during the break. Uh, says, I was wondering if any of you guys had caught the new Matt Reif special on Netflix. What are your thoughts? I thought as a stand-up, he sucks. <laughs> Open mic with the audience. Hilarious. Yeah, a lot of his clips, I've never seen a stand-up, but a lot of his clips online are just him interacting with the audience. And yeah. that's done, and a lot of stand-ups will post crowd work because if they posted their actual material, that would have nothing to do. <laughs> yeah. People yeah. would say, oh, I've already seen this. Oh, uh, yeah, we, 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 we played some Matt Reif clips from his stand-up back mm -hmm. when he was blowing up and selling out. He's, he's still got a tour that he sold out for the next two years. Right. And, well, we, yeah. and we played the clip where he was telling Bert uh, Kreischer about how <laughs> the only people who showed up to see him were single women and gay dudes. <laughs> <laughs> On account of, he's hot. The hotness. No. I was just well, watching an interview with him where he's talking about how he like had no money, and then like within six months, he yeah. is like a millionaire. Yeah, It's insane. Uh, I've got a clip of him that I, I want to share with you. Oh. And uh, let's see if what he's talking about reminds you of anyone on this show. Yeah, this is Matt Reif. If I hear one more person blame how their life is going on Mercury, <laughs> I am so tired of you ladies blaming your poor decision-making skills on planets that don't even know you. <laughs> has nothing to do with the stars, man. Just because Jupiter has a ring and you don't doesn't mean... <laughs> doesn't mean that's who you're supposed to look up to for all this magical advice, man. And stop trying to explain it so confidently, you look stupid every time. <laughs> the girl of your dreams will look you straight in the eyes and say, would you even know how the universe works? <laughs> no, but tell me, professor. <laughs> well, there's a little planet called Mercury, and when it slows its rotation around the sun a little bit, it causes it to go into retrograde 98 million miles away, and that's why my life is just an absolute shambles. <laughs> It's literally not even up to me. Like, your life isn't in shambles because of a planet in the sky. It's because you can't live without a vape in your mouth. And you only f guys who need to borrow your car, okay? <laughs> you worried about Mercury while he crashed in your Saturn. How stupid do you feel? All right, so does that it is, remind you of anybody? That is so ravey. Anybody, yeah, yeah right. Totally. Yeah, yeah. Nailing me. Yeah. Yeah. Sammy, response? Did you take that personally, Sammy? I mean... I didn't, but I mean, the thing is, is that anyone who dismisses Mercury retrograde instantly, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, but I'm saying... You See, that's funnier than anything Matt Reif <laughs> yeah. said. Well, no, because, I mean, you're just not, I guess, paying attention. Do you the, not know in, how in planets the, work? In the sense of... Oh, go on, go on. I don't blame my problems on Mercury being retrograde because that's not what Mercury retrograde is. I think that a lot oh. of people say that, mm. like, when they don't believe in it or don't know anything about it and they go stop blaming your problems on that or stop whatever. that's not what it is so explain. okay so it's a different planet it's not mercury it'd be like no no, no. it is mercury. saturn that's but causing saying, your problems no but it's not it's not causing your problems personally if your whole life is effed up it's not because mercury's so, retrograde. Oh, really? so what is it, what is it really doing what is it really yeah, doing? Well, yeah no, what's the actual it's, scientific <laughs> thing that's actually yeah. happening? it's when technology gets messed up or stuff like that like things can go wrong it doesn't mean your entire life is a mess is that actually happening or is that just something but, somebody says right but how does that how does that work? How does Mercury well, affect the different yeah. technology? Listen. <laughs> I don't have all the answers. Guys. Yeah. Listen. Like what's the Like if you said solar flares, I'd be like, oh okay. Okay, yeah. But the, that's the thing. But an orbit a planet orbiting, go yeah. on. Explain, please. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't, I don't know the science behind. But you believe why. the science? Yeah, because I because you can there's see no it science. Happen. You're like communication gets disrupted, technology How's gets that disrupted. Happen? Because Mercury's in retrograde. But isn't that, okay. Duh. Isn't that just like a normal thing? It's not necessarily, I mean, it, it happens in other times when Mercury is not in retrograde. Yeah, like, but that's not the only time. It happens things, more. Their technology, you know, screws up. It's right. all amped up during the retrograde exactly. period. Yeah. Yes. Everybody knows it. <laughs> yeah. It just peaks, you know? Yeah. And by it's the way, science. And by the way, being in, because uh, to, to actual, the actual science behind this a little bit, the planets are always rotating the same way all the time, but it's an optical illusion because certain ones, because they're closer to and to us and further from us, look like they are actually moving backwards against the other planets because actually it's, other ones are moving faster and or slower. So it's really, it's just an optical illusion, essentially. Well, no, the optical illusion is that it's spinning backwards. Right. Right. I mean, we know that's not happening. Whatever. But what does that have? <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> no, I'm saying like, I, I. Seabass just witnessed this in person. The girl of your dreams will look you straight in the eyes and say, would you even know how the universe works? <laughs> <laughs> no, but tell me, professor. 
<laughs> see, people, and I actually, people say, oh, Seabass, you hate me. <clears throat> Sammy, no. Because it used to be, before Sammy was here, I could, you observe these idiots out, but you couldn't, like, interact with you them. couldn't pick their brain yeah right, right, right. and i honestly do enjoy having her in person to do that <laughs> right. it's nice <laughs> it's, well but i already nice. i already admitted though that i don't know uh, why specifically mercury is what represents the communication and technology it just i just know that it that's what it represents you know sammy you're great no, but saying, like, like you're the girl that i walk away from at the party <laughs> i didn't bring this up i'm not I would never talk to you guys about it i would well, only talk to other you guys people saturn's losing his rings it. oh like oh i gotta Gotta go to the bathroom or something. So so here's, I guess, one of my questions for you. We know that, let's say, when there's a full moon, that it affects affects the tides, it affects the waters, and we are mostly made up of water. So what would make us think that something like a full moon wouldn't it wouldn't affect us, right? So, like, why would because we think the that scale. the planets okay, and stuff don't affect us? Yeah. But see, this is this is where everybody, psychics, crystal people, this is right, this right. is the this is the the, yeah. the out they try to use yeah. is that, well, we know that these scientific phenomena exist, so how do we not know that my stupid belief isn't real? Because science exists. Yeah. Well, they also like to yeah. tie things back into, well, you know, when we were cavemen. Or, or yeah. we don't know. Yeah. Like, when we were cavemen, that's the, why we're doing, you They know. use the, we don't know to then yeah. say, well, I, but I do know about mercury and retrograde yep. crystals, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera. See, they use, that's the little, that's the little wedge they use, but it's not, it doesn't prove what they're trying to state. It just says, well, it could. But it doesn't. When it has no proof. the rotation on the sun a little bit, it causes it to go into retrograde 98 million miles away. And that's why my life is just an absolute shambles. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a pretty funny clip. That's good. I see his point 100%. Yeah, yeah. And he's I hot. Mean, you know, and, yeah. and, and, and bonus. And let's not forget he's hot. Time.